I'm sorry. Well, you should be. Someone did that to my cousin Esther once, and she's been stuttering ever since. I just wondered if you'd heard anything from Ben. Oh, not a peep. Now, you see, what you gotta know is that that works on all kinds of carpets. It works on old pile, loop, everything, and it dries, it dries overnight. Now, you feel that? That's like pushing butter on a hot skillet, isn't it? Now, a baby could operate that thing, but let me show you something else. You see that can of sawdust over there? Pick it up and dump it on the floor. Just dump it right on the floor, everywhere on the floor. That's it, that's it. Now, get it on there good now. Now, you step on it. Now, grind it down good. Good, good, good. Now, that's perfect. Okay, okay. Now, stand back. Because this puppy's going to suck the daylight out of this coffin. Ah, will you look at that? Will you look at that? <laughs> like a tornado over a field of cotton, ain't it? I don't mean to be a tattletale, but Russ is grinding sawdust into the living room carpet. He's been dumping dirt and grime, every kind known to man in there, since 9 o'clock this morning. And now the vacuum is picking up all that dirt and grime. Well, that's good. And you know who is operating the vacuum cleaner? You guessed it. Russ the Rhino. You're kidding. There's nothing wrong with him. Or his back. He forgot himself. He had to be one with the vacuum cleaner. He flew off that couch like he was 17 years old on his way to knock down old man McCabe's outhouse. Well, have a nice night. <laughs> I'll try. Don't you ever go home? It's late. Uh, no, no, I like to do my own research. That way, when I go into court, it's right here. I'm Linda Maxwell. Oh, that's Lewis. <laughs> 